Imagine a world in which we finally learn from history and no longer make the same mistakes over and over. A world in which we prevent our collapse, our fall from magnificent empires to impoverished lands of misery. Imagine a world in which each child could be developed nearly or actually to their full potential. Imagine if each child were taught how to fully develop critical thinking skills and how to develop the best mindset they could to understand processes of all aspects of life. What if each of us were taught to think when we were children on a grand scale and how to consider solving our greatest problems? Imagine a world in which our priority was to humanity, a world in which we are taught our greatest purpose is to fully contribute to society. Imagine a world in which we have a real concern and motivation to act for our fellow man or woman. Imagine what the world would be like if you knew all of humanity cared about you. These are topics I consider and look at here. I once asked the question in one of my first videos, is the world a better place because of your existence? I believe if we follow what society tells us to do, the world then will not be a better place because of our existence. If we can conceive of a better world, we should be able to make it a reality. Why is it we haven't demanded this? Or if we have, we have certainly done it poorly. What of the elimination of all sicknesses, mental disorders, poverty, war, violence, greed, addiction, and any other conditions that don't well serve us? What can we be? What should we be? Is all this misery and suffering the best we can do? I realize there are many policymakers and those who have true power who do not want things to change. They are a significant hurdle to overcome. They know what they are doing has an evilness to it. They cannot do such things without paying a price. That price is a constant worry that what they are doing to others will be done to them. Their choice is an addiction of greed, power, and corruption over a better life. A better life not just for others, but for themselves as well. It is thought there are as many as one billion who have been killed directly by war, and certainly an enormous number have also been killed indirectly. Some things have gotten somewhat better lately in our history. Violence has gone down. We are not in constant warfare as we have always been. Slavery has decreased significantly, as well as genocide. The rule of law is far stronger today than it's been at any time in history. And there are many significant improvements in today's world, but it could be so much better. The improvement has come about from a willingness to have a better mindset. We are to blame for our civilizations crashing throughout history. We cheat, steal from one another, and often take joy, even pride, in causing suffering to others. We are taught we should outdo others at all cost. For those who grow up seemingly having the greatest talents, we are taught to be greedy, to seek power, but never to help the world achieve its potential. That is not a concern. Potential isn't just about grand moments or monumental discoveries. It's also in the quiet introspections, the daily grind, the unyielding spirit, and the relentless pursuit to better oneself. Many of us wish to have that drive, but don't. Many of us wish to have noble and successful pursuits, but don't know how. Many of us have only been taught the simplest of understandings of this world. Others have been given much more. Society will take credit 
for the minds that come closest to their potential, but will not take blame for those that don't. Two years ago, here, we began a journey, a quest to uncover the potential of humanity and the individual. As we stand at the dawn of our third year, my mission becomes ever clearer, to dive deeper, to reach further, to think bigger. At the core of existence, at the heart of every atom, every molecule, every dream, lies potential. In the vast expanse of the universe, humanity has always been a mere speck. But with each individual lies a universe of potential waiting to be explored. Every era, every movement, every breakthrough stems from an idea, a vision, a spark. In this third year, I would like to move into such things as the Nobel Peace Prize, the X Prize, and similar awards. Anything that I believe truly contributes to humanity and supports our progress. It will also be my intention to better understand futurists and think tanks. Futurists are generally IT consultants whom businesses, governments, and powerful organizations pay large sums of money to predict and understand where technology is heading and how it will affect the entity asking for the advice. It is predicted there will come a time in the not too distant future in which the subject of futurism will no longer be useful. That is because it is believed there will be a point in which it cannot be predicted where technology is going. For now, I find it fascinating. Think tanks meet to understand typically the bigger picture of things. A think tank can be defined as a group of experts and researchers who are brought together to analyze and discuss complex issues to develop solutions and strategies for addressing them. I believe the knowledge of the processes that futurists and think tanks go through will help us to better learn the ability of critical thinking, to understand our world, how and why decisions are made as they are. We then can much better participate in this. I will continue to look at individual lives, civilizations, and movements of the past. Also, I will continue to look at my travels, as I have often gone through places that once reached the pinnacle or highest level of human civilization, only to fall into chaos and complete despair. I continue to look at social movements and consider more productive educational efforts. We may be living during the most exciting time in history. If artificial intelligence continues to develop as projected, our lives will soon change unimaginably. This provides the greatest hope of anything in history. It is telling to me that the greatest fear of AI is that it will act like humanity. That is the self-centeredness of humanity, the destructiveness. Yes, I believe the worst thing that can occur is if AI or emerging technologies act like humanity. While we obviously have many admirable traits, we have some wickedly awful ones as well. I plan on following the continued saga of where AI will take us. Should you like to come along, should you like to consider our potential, please subscribe and like. Please let others know. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode.